Hey guys, good morning. So it's Sunday morning and it's about 9.40, which means I have 20 minutes to get home and do a live video book club discussion. I am headed to Taco Bell to get um, a breakfast item for Eddie. And the reason I'm getting this is number one, because I want to get some breakfast for Eddie. Um, number two, because I also want to kind of deconstruct it and see how I can make it for him. Um, one of the things that I want to do personally for myself is to um, give a little more time to my husband and I want to see if I can make a few breakfasts for him this week, which is, um, um, or not this week, but you know, coming up, I need to make some breakfast for him. It's kind of funny because number one, if you guys know me, you know I hate, hate, hate mornings. So I'm trying to um, go to bed a little bit earlier so that I can hopefully get up a little bit earlier and give a little more of my time where my time needs to be given instead of laying in bed sleeping. So I am trying to get this Taco Bell item to deconstruct, and well he's got to eat it, but I need to look at it and see what it is that he likes so that I can try and recreate it at home. And I'm pretty sure it's a breakfast item, so I'm pretty sure that I can also make it pretty low points for myself if I choose to eat breakfast as well. So this is what's going on right now, and I have 20 minutes, now I have 18 minutes to make it back home and do the live book club discussion. So you guys are going to laugh when I tell you you're either going to laugh or you're going to severely roll your eyes or both that I did not finish the book. And I will let you guys know when we actually start the live discussion, but it's been a killer of a month for me. I've had a lot going on, a lot of um, very personal things, and I, for at least the first two to three months, the first two to three weeks of the month, I could not even concentrate on anything. So I started reading the book late, and um, yeah, anyway, it's gonna be a fun discussion because you guys are gonna tell me how the book actually ends. So I'm almost to talk about and Eddie doesn't know what it is called that he likes here, so I'm supposed to ask for the sausage, egg, hash brown, cheese thing. And I guess it's wrapped up in like a flower kind of looking thing. You know how they make it like kind of, probably like the um, Crunch Wrap Supreme that I used to love, love, love those. So. I'm gonna let you guys hear me order because it could be very entertaining. And so Taco Bell is over here. drive through. please let there be a drive through open right now. It opens at seven and it's nine something, so they should definitely be open. It looks absolutely dead. Oh, there's a car in front of me, so that's cool. That's cool. I'm also getting a bean and cheese burrito for Mama Rita. So, and some coffee for me. Can't forget coffee. I look like I've already had coffee. <laughs> I haven't had any coffee. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? All right, thank you for asking, how can I help you? Um, you know what, I need to order something. I don't know what it's called, but it's from your breakfast menu. I think it might be the breakfast crunch wrap. Does that have egg, hash brown, sausage, and cheese? Yes, did you want to buy top <laughs> of the combo? Um, what comes with the combo? So you can either get a... Uh, you can either get a hash brown or two packs of delights, and they also come with drink. Oh, like coffee. What are those cinnamon delight thingies? They're like uh, little cinnamon buns. They have a little cream in the middle. Oh, they're pretty good. I really Ooh, enjoy them. They look good. They're really uh, sweet for the morning, so like a little dessert for the morning. What size coffee is it? Uh, we only have regular size. Okay, so let's do the um, the combo. So the breakfast crunch wrap combo with the sausage. That's the one that's four fifty nine, right? Yes. Okay, and then I also need a small bean and cheese burrito. Just a bean and cheese? Yeah. No red sauce, no onions, okay? Um, nope, that's it. And can I, can you also throw in like a whole bunch of packets of, um, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> can you also throw in a whole bunch of packets of the mild sauce for the Crunch Wrap Supreme? Well. And for your coffee, okay. how many creams of sugar did you need? Can you just put in like, uh, you know what, I'll just have cream at home, so I don't need any. 
sorry? I don't need any. Black? Yeah. Okay. Did you already look back on the screen? Uh, yep, looks great. The is going to be 688. Go uh, forward. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I knew it. So it's called a Crunchwrap Supreme, which is the thing that I used to love the most at Taco Bell. So it's basically they a Crunchwrap Supreme, they fold it really cool and then they grill it on both sides and they are making them for breakfast. So this is what Eddie likes to get apparently. And it has bacon, egg, cheese, and sausage. I can make that at home. I'm just gonna have to YouTube how to wrap a Crunchwrap Supreme. I know it's out there, right? I know it's out there. I'll see you guys in a little while after our live YouTube. Bye. Okay, you guys, we just had the best, the best live book club discussion. It was so much fun. You guys are always so much fun to talk to. Um, here's my outfit of the day I wanted to show you because it's just like totally casual Sunday and I'm probably going to lose the jacket because it's super duper hot, but these are the jeans with like all the embroidery I love them I love them I'm gonna lose the jacket though because it's pretty hot um, but I'm out here because I wanted to show you guys my project from last week take my jacket off okay so my project from last week and this is just like a running t-shirt mm, boring outfit of the day but I want to show you guys the project that I finished last week which is right there behind me hang on I'll show you okay here is the beautiful lounge wicker chair I think I will put in a before picture before this so you guys can see what it looked like before isn't it beautiful that's what I sat on while I did my live discussion and we have one of those um, propane heaters next to it ignore the junk in the back but uh, yeah it's our backyard so that's the propane heater, which we rarely use, but we have it because Julie gets cold. But anyway, this is the project that I did last week. I actually sprayed this entire wicker chair and it was so much fun. It was so zen, I'm telling you. It was so peaceful and relaxing to just, I just used a spray paint to spray paint all of this. So that was super fun. And see the color on the cushions. Mama Rita made the cushions. So she made all the cushions and that is actually um, a pillowcase that she found to match. So isn't that just beautiful? So this is what I get to relax on in my backyard now, thanks to Mama Rita. And that super fun spray paint can. It actually took like six spray cans. Uh, yeah, I think six spray paint cans. But it was super fun. I'll show you guys a before picture. Hey guys, so it's 3.14 and we're on our way to the movies. Remember the Avengers movie that we never got to see because I kept messing up on the time at the El Capitan twice in Hollywood. It's not like right around the corner or anything. So we had to drive Eddie's saying three times. Maybe I messed up on the time three times. We drove all the way to Hollywood did not make it for Avengers. So we basically wasted those tickets for one thing, which is annoying. Um, and number two, we have not seen Avengers yet. So we're going right now to see Avengers. We're going to the theater that is in our hometown. So it's literally like almost right around the corner. And we finally get to see Avengers. Yay, I'm super excited. So I brought with me some movie snacks. Yes, just a few this time though, because I'm not super duper hungry. So I brought this new pop secret that I found, which I'm having instead of, I know the front looks gross, it must be it's from the microwave. <laughs> so I brought this pop secret, I'm going to have the entire bag. Um, I recalculated it somehow, and I don't have the box to show you guys, but when I recalculated, it came out to seven smart points for the full bag. I was thinking it was six smart points, but it's seven smart points for a full size bag of pop secret light popcorn. It is eight smart points for a full bag of the Jolly Time light popcorn. So I'm still saving myself a point. And believe me, a point is a big difference to me. So I'm bringing this seven points worth of already popped popcorn to the theater in a very deep bag with me. And I am bringing my Simply Balanced this is a Simply Balanced Seltzer Water. It is grapefruit flavor. So that is what I have to snack on. And then I also have some Ice Cubes Icebreakers Gum, which is zero smart points 
the seltzer water, of course, is zero smart points. It is not the spiked seltzer water. And then this ice cube icebreakers is cinnamon flavor, zero points. So all of my movie snacks right now are seven smart points. And let's see Avengers, finally. Okay guys, we finally, finally saw Avengers and I'm not showing you what Eddie's doing because it's his opinion of the movie. <laughs> Do you want to give your opinion of the movie? No. Okay, so we finally saw Avengers and every single bite of that popcorn was so worth it. And I also think I need to watch Avengers again. Why? Because you took a lot, three little long naps? I took a couple naps. And so Eddie's upset because now he has to see the second Avengers, Infinity War. And I'm upset because now I need to watch the first one again. <laughs> but what I can say is that every bite of the popcorn was so worth it. Okay guys, here's what's for dinner tonight. We are having asparagus wrapped with Canadian bacon. So these Land O'Lakes Canadian bacon slices are two slices for zero smart points. And I don't remember how many for one smart point. I'm probably gonna have at least three or four of these wraps. Um, so I will probably have at least one point in Canadian bacon. I'm just doing these in the air fryer. Okay, so here is the asparagus wrapped with the Canadian bacon. You can have up to seven pieces of Canadian bacon for one smart point. So I will probably not have seven, but I'm definitely going to have more than two. So whatever I eat out of the um, asparagus tonight, I'm gonna count one smart point for the Canadian bacon. So I'm actually going to cook these in the air fryer. I'm going to cook them at 400 degrees, but I'm also going to check them often to make sure that they are getting done. I'm gonna turn them often so they're nice and crispy, hopefully, by the time they're done. I'm also, you know what, I need to pull this out because I'm also going to add some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning on top as well. So these should be, um, if you have seven of these little asparagus bundle wraps, will be one smart point. Okay, and the rest of dinner is over here. This is salmon, zero smart points. I'm going to just cook this in the pan today. I'm going to use some dill seasoning and then we will top it with some very, very thinly sliced lemons. So tonight is salmon and asparagus. So this will be zero smart points. Okay, Which so while I'm making what? dinner, I'm actually um, eating some of these mini bell peppers also. So little snack -a -loon. Okay, it is almost eight o'clock and here's what's for dinner tonight. So I have the salmon. <coughs> Salmon here with some lemon slices on top, which I probably usually just eat all of the lemon slices as well. So zero smart points for the salmon. The broccoli with the Canadian bacon is one smart point. So I actually have six of those for one smart point. And my beverage tonight is the grapefruit ice drink. So that is it for me for dinner. So, so far today I've had the seven points of popcorn and one point of Canadian bacon.